Yeah. Well, the line drew in my building is shot. What does that mean for me? Well, if you noticed, I can no longer rock the flannel pajamas today. Or my jersey today for making XFL picks. Now, some of you guys are wondering, well, Nick, you've worn flannel practically every day in 2020, pajamas or not. In fact, you're wearing flannel right now. Well, yeah. Plus, the jersey where you make your XFL picks isn't an XFL jersey. It's an NFL jersey, specifically that of the Chicago Bears. Well, yeah. So relax, you're fine, you don't gotta worry about it. Well, it's true, but it's the principle of the thing. Ah, uh, Saturday sad face. Yeah, but that's probably true. I can't get through this. After all, I have good people by my side, don't I? Hello and happy Saturday, everyone. Yes, uh, can't really rock the flannel pajamas today, but again, I've been wearing flannel every day in 2020, practically, so I don't think that's really going to change. And plus, you know, you know, I could always, I mean, everything's probably going to be fixed tomorrow. I'm going to try and see if I can make that happen and I'll be able to rock the flannel pajamas again. Plus, when you think about it, I still have one more extra day of rocking the flannel pajamas and the jersey for that matter. I mean, we have a leap year, remember? The 29th, we actually have a February 29th this year and it's a Saturday, so yes, I can actually rock it for one more day. So, yeah, think positive, folks. Um, yeah, so last night, pretty uneventful, although I did stress a lot that yesterday was the final day that I could actually have meat on Fridays until after Easter. And if you practice the Christian or Catholic faith, you know that as well. So I actually went to uh, Bernie Murray's and had wings one more time. Saw a very special somebody there, talked to them for a little bit. And, uh, you know, was able to, and I said, uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll be able to overcome. I mean, again, Rita's opens in a couple of days. And not to mention, I hear Bernie Murray's fish fry is out of this world. I can't wait to try it. I'll be able to try that, uh, you know, a week from yesterday. So less than a week from now. That'd be, that'd be rather, um, that'd be good. Anyway, even though I'm not rocking the jersey, I can still make XFL picks. So how about we do just that, shall we? I just forgot a thing right here. Oh, I gotta reach down very far. Okay. Huh. Some nice ambient lighting here. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's see. What are the games for today? Let's see. One, with two. Ah, here we go. Week three. So, two games we have today. The Houston Roughnecks and the Tampa Bay Vipers. Okay, without question, the Tampa Bay Vipers really have been the weakest team in the XFL so far. I mean, in the last two weeks, they've only scored 12 points. That's six points a game. It's not good. It's hardly even worth the trouble rooting for them anymore unless you live in the city of Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, the Houston Roughnecks actually have a win streak going on as they are undefeated at 2-0. Yeah, I know it's only been two weeks, but still, that's pretty good. And, I, and unless Tampa Bay really steps up their game, I mean really steps up their game, I don't really see that changing anytime soon today. So for this afternoon's game at 2 o'clock, I'm picking the Houston Roughnecks over the Tampa Bay Vipers. Okay. Now, uh, the evening game at 5 between the Dallas Renegades and the Seattle Dragons. Now, both teams are actually standing at 1-1. One and, one. and with that being said, they're both pretty balanced. I really don't know where this one's going to go. 
I mean, I guess when you look at the point differentials in, you know, both games, let's see, uh, let me do the math in my head. This is really tough to pick. Hmm. Because, actually, funny story, I was actually going over which team scored more points in the last two games. Seattle scored 36, where Dallas scored 34. So, they're actually pretty close to each other. But, more often than not, people are going to take the team with the more point, with the higher number of points than the other. So, I guess if we're going by that logic, I guess I'll pick Seattle. Actually, actually, I'm probably going to Seattle College. I didn't even realize it. Um, hmm. This is really tough. I really don't know. Think. You know what? I, last time I picked both Texas teams to win, it ended up happening. I already picked the Houston to win. I picked Dallas to win. I think Dallas may not. I think Dallas is the one with the uh, with the uh, difficult task ahead of them, but I think they can overcome this. So I'm picking the Houston Roughnecks over the Tampa Bay Vipers and the Dallas Running Angels over the Seattle Dragons. Yes, I'm picking. Essentially, outlaws versus to win over lizards and reptiles. Yeah, that that works. Although outlaws do carry guns, and guns for the most part can be answered. Anyway, so um, well, that actually kind of sounds disturbing. Uh, um, as long as I'm here, last night's manga chapter one piece came out. Let's read it, shall we? All right, see if I can uh, bring it up here. One Piece, Chapter 972. I am Odin, and I was born to boil. Listen, I know that the flashback is supposed to end in a tragedy, but kind of, uh, kind of on the nose there, don't you think? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, so now you actually listen. nothing they can do. Oh, this is going to get sad, folks. I guarantee you that. And I'm only on page 5 of 22. Okay, let's see. Here. 700 degrees? And rising? has it been since the hour started? Okay. Okay. Okay.
He's only a third of the way through. My goodness. Okay, 30 minutes. So point to the haze is lethal. Ten minutes, five minutes, one minute, ten seconds, three seconds, one second. He did it! He did it! He actually did it! Quite possibly the coolest thing ever! Holy cow! Oh wait, something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? just plain wrong. Of course the bad guys would go back on their word. They always do. But this is just plain cruel. Oh boy. Whoa! Kosuki Odin is a grown man. Holy cow. He threw them. He threw them. Holy cow. That is that is cool. Okay. Uh -huh. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're showing flashbacks of the vessels. Oh. How they all met Odin. And their memories. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, I forgot how powerful of a quote that was. Wow. Okay. You had, okay, kind of underwhelming for that character to die. Kind of lame, considering that the old hag is the main reason why pretty much a lot of this is happening right now. Oh, what do you know? They worked in the title of the chapter, into the chapter. That's cool. Ooh. Well. That's a classic way to go. I guess. Ha. Huh. He went out with a smile. Much like great One Piece characters do. And so ended one legend. To be carried on by the players of the next stage.
the story hurdles toward the present day. Next chapter hits March 1st. Wait, March 1st? Oh, that's, wait. That's just barely over a week from now. Okay, I can wait. So, yeah. Uh, that happened. Let's just say I'm really glad I have this guy with me right now because I need a hug. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, whoo. Let's just say I want to avoid frying bacon for a little while. Well, I always bake my bacon anyway, so there's always that. Like, favorite, check out the subscribe button, follow me on social media, and remember again on YouTube. I am very humble to make this video for all of you guys who watch and enjoy for today. I hope we all have a wonderful Wonderful Saturday. And remember, if you guys want to talk to your channel, I'm always going to be here to lend an ear. I'll always be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.